Hello, this is Dr. Brain again. Here we are in the ponds. A little bit more rostral than the previous section. We would say that this is probably the upper portion of the ponds at the region of the trigeminal motor nucleus and the trigeminal chief sensory nucleus. There are several structures that need, need to be pointed out here that we'll need to learn. First of all, as I mentioned to you last time, we really should divide the pons into the basis and tegmentum. We can use as the dividing line this structure here, which is the medial lemniscus. So above the medial lemniscus, we talk about the tegmentum and below it the base of the pons. First of all, let's begin in this region here. This is the important motor nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. Lateral to this is this structure here, which is the chief sensory nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. And here, of course, are fibers of that very large trigeminal nerve. In the tegmentum, dividing the tegmentum from the base, is the medial lemniscus. And just as in our previous section, laterally to the medial lemniscus, not necessarily attached to it, but laterally are fibers of the lateral spinothalamic tract. In the basis, we have these very important descending motor fibers coming from the motor cortex, which include the cortical spinal tract, the cortical bulbar tract, and here some of these, although we can't say exactly which ones, some of these fibers are ending their pathway and synapsing on neurons here in the bases. And these are the cortical pontine fibers. Of course, the very large metal cerebellar peduncle. And we see a little bit of the superior cerebellar peduncle. If we'll go back now and review function, I think we can pick out the important points of this slide and we will have learned it. The motor component of the trigeminal innervating, of course, the muscles of mastication. The chief sensory, which is more or less proprioceptive input from the face. The trigeminal nerve containing all of the components which innervate the face, the oral cavity, etc. The descending fibers from the motor cortex constituting the cortical spinal tract and the cortical bulbar tract, the cortical spinal tract, going to those muscles of the body for voluntary motor control. The cortical bulbar fibers innervating a few of the cranial nerves, such as the tongue, the larynx, the pharynx, etc. The medial lemniscus carrying vibration and two-point discrimination and conscious proprioception from the body, and the lateral spinothalamic tract carrying pain and temperature sensation from the body. These are the major five major structures, although there is a structure here called the medial, called the medial longitudinal fasciculus, which we should point out. This will be of particular interest to the uh, neurologist. This carries information that interrelates the ocular motor nerves. And you might remember that in multiple sclerosis, this area is very frequently affected, giving us something called the sign of the medial longitudinal fasciculus.